Hi, Toby Hodges from Yachting World. Uh, we're about to have a look on board Windello's new 54. If you haven't seen the video of us sailing the 50, have a look, we'll link to it. Uh, but let's go and have a look at the main differences on this because I think it's packed full of innovation, different, good thinking, and perhaps a good little glimpse of the future of boat building, hopefully. So Windello is a new shipyard uh, and formed to make basically a more sustainable product. The 54, good view here, the main differences are it's been extended essentially four feet. They use the same moulds but they extend it in areas to give you bigger aft cabins um, and a bit more speed, a bit more sail area, uh, a bit more average performance. But here you can see a slight difference, still got very narrow hulls. This is a performance boat. Um, but it has a slight inverse bow to it, so nine degrees reverse bow. Still Baron Newman design and um, slightly heavier than the, than the 50 obviously, but it uses the same electric engines. It's built the same, um, so hydrogen and electric engines. Yeah, this one 12.8 tons, whereas I think the 50 is 11.4. Um, but it's also built the same, so it uses basalt fibre. So basalt fibre is volcanic rock, essentially. Um, and they use that, bioresins and PET foam for 50% of the construction of a boat. Uh, and that means uh, PET foam, for those who don't know, this is recycled plastic bottles. So as well as all that, you have a very, very fresh, open, modern interior layout. It's bright, it's light, it's different. And with the layout's just completely different really. Uh, we'll have a look at the forward cockpit in a minute. Um, so while we're here at the aft part, you have um, yeah, a, a massive indoor outdoor space. These garage doors, um, as standard as sliding, you know, bifold style doors with six panels which slide right open or you have this electric option where you have a garage style door that goes up into the roof there. Um, and uh, yeah, a nice part of it is having a, a drop down aft transom, it's just like the 50, uh, which extends your aft deck when at rest and forms the davits as well for lowering the dinghy. Underneath here, we'll have a look at the electric drives. Same spot you'd have your, deep, your um, conventional engines. But here you have, yeah, neat little Belmarine electric drive there. So 20 kilowatt engine, and that will give you four hours of silent running at six knots. And then when you put it, add the diesel range generator, range extender diesel generator, uh, you've got over a thousand miles motoring capacity. Those electric drives are uh, also hydro generating, so when you're under sail, they're putting power back into the 1120 amp hour lithium ion battery bank. And on top of that, you have a vast flat coach roof for solar panels. So you're essentially running all your DC systems while you're on board from the sun. Three kilowatts worth just under 3,000 amp hours of solar panels and you can extend that you could even put them in all this flat deck area so you get up to 4.8 kilowatts that's a phenomenal amount of power capturing from the sun and that's yeah again thanks to the design it's meant to do that all that flat area uh, on the deck and on the coach roof so again, compared to 50, the coach roof is slightly larger than the cell is slightly larger, 60 centimetres basically, and you gain that, that volume mainly in the aft cabins. Um, but otherwise the concept is very much the same. It's a performance boat offered in three guises. This is a, a charter version, um, and you have a, 
a, a performance in an ocean cruising one. The rig is slightly taller and they've done a nice job to make it a lightweight, lighter weight, single spreader aluminium mast. Obviously easy to access from the flat coach roof. Self-tacking jib and yeah, massive four deck area. The life raft contained in the tramp. This one has, this particular one has a skipper's cabin with uh, heads and shower in there as well. And then you can access the cockpit from coming down here or we'll go back through the um, through the aft cockpit so you can see have another look at the huge sliding windows here which open up this whole saloon area Another area where the difference is felt over the 50 is in this central section, really. So both above and in the holes, you get a larger galley and a nav station desk area as standard, which the 50 doesn't have. There's two different layout options for the galley. Um, so you, this one, you enter the starboard hull down through the galley there or it can be the galley can be further aft and you go forward of that. Nice to see a big screen there as a repeater for your instruments if you are sat here or that can be a window through into the, the cockpit itself. Another thing, window Windello has improved over that first 50 is giving a much larger skylight area for viewing your main sails when you're sat at the helm here. Forward cockpit, you're either going to like it or not. I enjoyed sailing from the forward cockpit and uh, I think it works because you're in social interaction with those in the saloon and galley and you can have your friends, family up here with you. Anyway, again, it's, it's in the 50 video when we're sailing. Easy, act, you, know, you have all of your sailing systems right here uh, and on that mast base winch as well. You can close these panels off. So you've got a hard panel here with a fabric panel in the front. And then this, these doors here slide off to separate and they are um, designed to contain a certain amount of water. I don't know how many hundreds of liters it is per second or per minute. Um, but there's big, huge drainage holes under here as well that go straight overboard if you were to take um, a significant amount of water over over the, the, the forward section here. I, I would have thought more likely it's going to run down the holes, but you're obviously going to get sun spray that's going to come in here. So you can shut these doors off or keep it as full ventilation. Moving down into the owner's hull, uh, well, the port side, I should say. Sorry, I've just turned all of the lights off, electric lights off down here, so it's not flickering, contrasting with the camera frame rate. Anyway, you'll see the amount of natural light you get here. Um, this corner window concept the Windellos came out with is, is a real seller for the boats. It's just a phenomenal view and the amount of natural light and this has been again extended from the 50 from the 50s you get an extra section in there which is why they put that panel in there because only a certain amount of plexiglass you can get in one run uh two ventilation ports other thing to note is probably the amount of stowage so even though you've got lithium lithium ion batteries under here you've got a load of stowage under that high berth and then yeah massive wardrobe section in there more in the centre, and then large sliding drawers on this side. So this, as I said, is a charter version, so it has a cabin further forward here. It can be a full owner's hull. If you have that, you could have um, bunks, you can have office space, you know, proper desk area, uh, and then a massive ensuite shower further forward. This has your heads, washing machine, starboard and a separate walk-in shower area here and then there's still uh, a pretty nice double cabin really
again, plenty of stowage. Um, everywhere they can be, really. And then coming down into starboard hull, you get this extra amount of cold storage space here and I guess pantry space if you want it or extra storage hanging space here. Again there's plenty of stowage available on this boat and then again, another lovely light aft double cabin. Plenty of hanging stowage, and then a separate head. They've added a neat little sink in here as well. So when you are sharing a head and shower with another cabin, it's nice to be able to come and brush your teeth in two separate areas. So sink and shower in there, and then another double forward, and that's the bulkhead there that you've got the skipper's cabin further forward of that. Uh, the 50 had a walk through bulkhead there to for the stowage further forward you can have that it can just be a sail lock on this one as well hide some kids and pets down there another thing to mention about the windello 54 it starts at just over a million euros where the uh, 50 starts at eight eight five nine x fat they've taken orders for about a dozen boats so far, six of each. So considering it's a brand new shipyard that was geared up to build six boats a year, doing very well. And they're aiming to double that capacity in the next 12 months or so. Hope you enjoyed the tour and uh, look forward to a sail hopefully one day. Until next time.